All right, guys, time for What If Vegeta Never Turned Good. I'm enjoying this series. Hope you're enjoying it, too. With all that being said, let's get to it. It's been years since Vegeta fled and Cell was destroyed. Kakarot has survived and wants to get Trunks back, but no one knows where Vegeta went. He tried to ask King Kai, but King Kai couldn't find him. Vegeta's been laying low, building up a strong and powerful army with Bobbity's minions. As he's been training Trunks, Trunks would be much stronger in this timeline, since Vegeta would train him endlessly to try to make him stronger. When he first fought Kakarot, he should have won, but Gohan and the others managed to stop him. Even though he's not turned good, Vegeta's learned the importance of teamwork, and he's learned that he can't do everything alone, even though he wants to. And he remembers back when he had his own squad. And they were quite useful sometimes. Even the lower runts were useful to, from time to time. So having his son be his right hand man. That will be useful. Trunks even unlocks Super Saiyan 2. As Vegeta unlocks Super Saiyan 3. However he can only use it in short bursts. Because of the massive stamina drain. After all of this training. After all of this fighting. After all of this planning. Vegeta thinks it's ready. As he tells Deborah. It's time. With my magical abilities, we'll bring back Majin Buu. And the universe will be ours to rule. Bobbity was a fool for thinking he can control me. Now let's go. Deborah would nod. As the rest of Vegeta's forces would go to Earth. And as they arrived, they hit their power level. And began to come up with a scheme. Vegeta learned a bit of Bobbity's magic, but not enough to control people. Vegeta didn't think he really needed to, since he could just simply use fear and use his strength so he had a pl plan as he landed and they all got into the spaceship suddenly vegeta would unleash his full power for a split second to let everyone know where he was then he would lower it back down as vegeta smirked trunks would hide off in the rocks hiding his power level as suddenly goku would instant transmission to him you're finally here where's trunks vegeta would laugh as the rest of z fighters slowly showed up Vegeta would have Deborah beside him. I met a friend out in space. And Trunks. Oh. I decided to leave him out there. Besides. I need to clean out the trash. Before me and him can build an empire. A lot of them didn't buy that. But they are too busy fighting Vegeta to really tell. Vegeta would say. Deborah take care of the extras. And leave Kakarot to me. As you wish sir. As Vegeta would charge at Kakarot, they would both begin the battle. As Deborah would begin to spit on Tien, Krillin, and Piccolo, turning them into stone. As Deborah laughed, he then began to fight the rest of the Z Fighters. As Gohan would be forced to fight him and tap into his potential. As Vegeta and, and Kakarot fought, he said, Why did you do this? You had a son. You could have lived here. Shut up, Kakarot. I'm not like you. I am the Prince of All Saiyans, a powerful elite warrior. And I will rule this universe once and for all. I'm not weak and pathetic like you. Goku would say pathetic. I have a lot to form beyond this. I wish we could have been friends, Vegeta. Piccolo, Tien, and many of my friends changed their ways. But it seems like you're too stubborn. Goodbye. Ve Goku would then turn Super Saiyan 3. But then Trunks would fly behind him and start to steal his energy. As Goku fell to the floor... All of his energy drained out. Vegeta began to laugh. You think you're the only one to achieve that form? Vegeta turned Super Saiyan 3. I needed you to unleash all of your power so I can take it. For my new goal to bring back Majin Buu. <laughs> Goodbye, Kakarot. As he was charged a big bang attack, suddenly Supreme Kai Shin would blast the key blast at Vegeta. Vegeta would easily deflect it, but this would distract him for them to save Goku. Vegeta would say, no matter. Come on, Deborah, as they would go into the spaceship with Trunks. Kakarot would begin to shake. As Supreme Kai Shen healed him, Kakarot would say, well, What happened? Shen would say, It was Vegeta. He's leading Bobby's old crew, and he's going to bring back Majin Buu. We need to run right now. Kakarot would say, No, not yet. We need to free my friends frozen in stone. We can do that if Deborah dies. There's not much time. He has more than enough energy. Shen and G Goku began to argue more and more and more. As Gohan would then say, we should listen to Shen. He healed you. Eventually, he would 
have them agree, as Shen teleported to Supreme Kai Planet. Meanwhile, Vegeta would bring the energy to the egg and bring back Majin Buu. As Majin Buu came out, Vegeta was a bit disappointed. After all, he was a fat pink blob, but he did see all of his power, so he was curious. He would say, Majin Buu, test out your power on him. He would point to Pui Pui. Pui Pui would say, but I've been loyal, Vegeta. I've been loyal. Please don't. Suddenly, Majin Buu would turn him into candy, then eat him. Vegeta would say, interesting. I think I can have use for you. You want to have fun, Majin Buu? Majin Buu would say, yeah, Buu like fun. Then follow me. Vegeta then look at Trunks and say, oh, Trunks, you did well, my son. Go have fun. Trunks would smirk as he would fly off and begin to destroy cities. This was his version of fun. He loved causing mayhem. Watching these pathetic lowlifes die, it gave him joy. As suddenly, Goten would fly in front of the way and say, What are you doing? Goten would learn to fly in this timeline, since Gohan would teach him more. As Trunks looked at him, he said, Destroying these pathetic lives. I am Trunks, the son of Prince Vegeta, an heir to a new empire. Who are you? I am Goten, son of Goku. And you don't have to do this, you know, just because your dad tells you to. Shut up. Trunks and Goten would both begin to battle each other. As Goten and Trunks battled, Trunks would turn Super Saiyan and say, I've trained with my dad, and I am the youngest Super Saiyan. I know you're your father's kid, but there's no way you can... But then suddenly Goten would turn Super Saiyan. This would piss Trunks off, hurting his pride a bit. Since Trunks was raised by Vegeta, he was a lot like him. He had a lot of pride, he had a lot of prove, and he loved the fight. As Trunks and Goten both started to battle each other more and more and more, Trunks would actually start to have fun, seeing this as a game. Goten would try to talk him out of hurting people, seeing that Trunks enjoys this. But Trunks would just laugh and say, there's two different type of people, there's the wolves and the sheep. And I am a wolf. You can join me, Goten. You don't have to be a sheep. You have great potential. Get rid of your dad's weak influence and join us. Goten would say no, as Trunks would then say pity, as he turned Super Saiyan 2. It took me years to master this. I've trained with my dad non-stop in some alien time chamber. He unlocked a form beyond this, and I unlocked this. Now it's time for you to die. As then Trunks would punch him straight in the gut. Goten would fall down as Trunks would charge the key beam. But he remembered how much fun he had with Goten as he would spare him. I'm sparing you so you can get stronger and I can enjoy another fight. Then I'll kill you. Don't mistake this as mercy. As then he hit Goten in the arm, breaking it. As he fell to the floor with a broken arm, Trunks would then fly back. Meanwhile, Vegeta would be playing games with Majin Buu. He had a plan. He knew Gohan would come back with a power-up, and so would Goku. So, he had to make a power-up of his own. We cut back to Gohan, who would try to use the Z-Sword, it would break, and then he would try to get his potential unlocked. As the hours would pass, eventually, his potential would be unleashed. As Gohan went to Earth with Kakarot, Kakarot and Gohan looked at Vegeta, Deborah, and Majin Buu. As Vegeta would smirk and say, I think it's time we get rid of you. Deborah, clean up the trash. Deborah would charge at Gohan, as Gohan would simply blow him up, killing him instantly. Vegeta would say, so, you've gotten stronger. Goku would say, that's right, I can't defeat you, Vegeta. You've gotten too strong, but my son can. Vegeta would laugh and say, I had a contingency plan. As suddenly, he would drink a vial of Majin Buu's flesh. Getting it from Fat Buu. As this merged with his skin, he started to shake as he fell to the floor and got back up. This is true Majin Vegeta. Majin Buu's powers unleashed deep inside of him as Vegeta continued to laugh. <laughs> with my Majin powers and Buu, we can defeat you. Majin Buu and Majin Vegeta would start to fight Gohan. Gohan started to get overwhelmed a bit. He could easily defeat Majin Buu, but his healing abilities made it hard for him to destroy him for good. And Vegeta's been training for a long, long time. And with that Majin power up, he was an, almost on par with Gohan. Almost. As Gohan couldn't handle both of them, Goku would turn Super Saiyan 3 and fight Majin Buu. 
As the battle continued, Gohan would say, It's over, Vegeta. I'm stronger than you. No matter how hard you train, no matter what you did, you could not win. Because evil never wins. Vegeta would say, Shut up! What kind of cliche bullshit is that? Evil never wins? Then how come I'm gonna win right now? Big Bang, attack! As Vegeta shot a massive Big Bang, Trunks shot a Big Bang too, as the father and son Big Bang collided. Majin Buu also shot a Big Bang, as Goku shot a Kamehameha, Gohan shot a Kamehameha, and all the Z fighters began to help. It was a massive beam struggle, but Vegeta seemed like he was going to lose, as the beam came closer and closer and closer to him, but suddenly Trunks looked at it and yelled, You're not gonna kill my dad! As he turned Super Saiyan 3, and the energy blasted straight towards them, destroying them. As they fell to the floor, Vegeta would get up and say, I'm proud of you, son. Now, the universe belongs to us. Trunks would get up and say, yeah. They would both smirk and look at each other. The look that said they loved each other, but they were too prideful to say it. As the Empire was only just beginning. And that's going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with all your friends. Hope you're enjoying this series. I know I am. And with Goku dead, I'm going to have to take some creative liberties for some threats for a while. And I hope you enjoy that. I think that adds new, unique content. You'll see what I mean in the future. Peace out.